Tonight in Nassau County, loved ones honor two people killed in a plane crash. 18-year-old Alexis George and her flight instructor David Cutineau died in the crash last Friday. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel attended tonight's vigil at the Fernandina Beach Airport. She's joining us live to show us how George and Catino are being remembered. Corley? It was an emotional night as family and friends came out here to the airport to show their love and support for Alexis George and David Cutno. They say George had a love and passion for flying and Cutno had a love and passion for teaching people how to fly. More than 100, 100 people attended tonight's vigil. They lit candles and said a prayer for both of them. Both Cutno and George died in a plane crash last week. And according to a preliminary report, the single engine Cessna 150 had an unknown malfunction before it went down in the St. Mary's River. Authorities are still working to figure out what caused that crash. Loved ones say George and Cutno both died doing what they loved. George recently graduated from Fernandina Beach High School and planned to attend Embry Riddle Aeronautical University. Cutno was a Navy veteran and ran the Cat Ranch Sanctuary with his wife. I spoke with his friend tonight who said he was excited about George's future. And I also spoke with George's father who says he is grateful to see how many lives his daughter touched. She's just a sweet all around girl. I, there was never, we never had a crossword between us. And she, and that's, that's hard to say of a teenager today. And I know I'm probably partial because I'm her father, but she was a sweetheart. And uh, I'm really going to miss her. I'm really out. How do you want David to be remembered? I want David to be remembered as a very meticulous, warm-hearted, loving instructor. He loved his wife and his family to the moon and back. But aviation was really his thing. Alexis George's father says that this past week has been extremely difficult for his family, but he is grateful for the community support. Reporting live from Fernandina Beach, Corley Peel Channel 4, The Local Station.